Hi guys and gals, and welcome back to another Borkin' Out Game video. Today's video is dedicated to some Sinnoh news. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump right into it. If you go in the menu, in the menu, go to Notice, and within the Notice, let's go to the Maintenance. You know, this is the Times, Time Converter down below. You guys know the drill. We're gonna have a new banner coming up. I don't like it, to be quite frank. Conquest Event, Venomous Fangs, pretty interesting one. Twilight Crystal Pack, you know, whatever, that's standard and the guild box of Grimoire, which is your blood gotcha. All right, so this banner in particular, Gretel's banner, it's not a step up banner. You know, there's new SR weapons. If you want Gretel, that's the only reason why you're gonna pull on this banner. As far as everything goes, you know, they're okay, they're okay. Let's talk about the class first. Gretel's artwork, you know, looks amazing as always. And you know, the sprite model looks amazing. It's a standard class with 400 stats, nothing too crazy to talk about. 450 HP if you need it, you know, who doesn't need it? It's always great for PvE situations, honestly, so you can never go wrong there. And then let's look at the weapons. Now, I put them at level 80 because, you know, max limit breaking them is just unrealistic, right? And they're 18 cost weapons, and to me, none of them stand out except possibly the bow because it has 1,853 attack. But for the most part, like, that's about it. Like, you know, this staff only heals one person and increases defense and has replenished magic one. This bow, you know, it's 19 cost to use it, you know, to actually cast the skill. Magic defense debuff two. I mean, it's okay, but leave like the debuffing the sorks and yeah, it's not really, just because it can double debuff because it's both on the call of skill and the call of aid skill, that's good. But for the most part, you know, it's a bow, but let sorks do that. And then, you know, Sickly Sweet Harp, you know, it, it's actually pretty decent. Like, this is the one weapon that's somewhat decent. It increases both physical and magic defense and has support boon too. But honestly, I've been seeing a lot of demand for attack down sorts, just because attack down seems to be, you know, a little bit better. If you have a buff vanguard, you're just going to slice through the defenses, right? So, I personally feel like this isn't as valuable, but because it has support boon too, it's much more valuable. Then we have Sickly Sweet, you know, Orbs Go Burr, and let's go over the Nightmare. Now, this Nightmare's name is Scarlet, right? And for the most part, it's it's kind of useless in my opinion, just because it massively reduces the SP cost for fire skills. And I understand where you would use this, maybe like in a deck where like everyone has fire skills, but for the most part, you really shouldn't be spamming like any skill whatsoever. You should be timing things and making sure your SP is appropriately accounted for. And yeah, there's just maybe if you knew like the like the enemy team had like a fire comp only, then you know you could or you could use this if you're fire comp only. But honestly, there's no reason to summon for this banner really, unless you really love Gretel. Then I completely understand. You know, summon for Gretel, that's that's why you like this banner. Or you just want another support boon 2 um, instrument. But for the most part, it's just not very appealing to me. Let's go over to the next thing, the Venomous Fangs. Now, this conquest event is really interesting. Because there's actually going to be two bosses, right? There's going to be the younger brother, this dude, who's obviously weak to physical defense, right? And he releases a strong attack whenever his, you know, older brother dies. And then you have the older brother right here, who pretty much does the same thing, but the magical variant. So he's weak to magic, and he pretty much lets out a crazy attack if his younger brother dies. So, you know, it's it's a really interesting boss for the most part. Sleeping Beauty is the raid up character, and there is like a spear version of her, there's a crusher version of her. So yeah, there's the sword version of her. I don't think the bow version of her has been released yet, but for the most part, this boss is like very straightforward. I feel like you're just gonna run like a mixed team where one person is like the soul like physical attacker and then you have the soul magic attacker. And it'll be straightforward for pretty much the most fight. But you know, join the Sinnoh Alice Conquest Discord if you wanna get in some free runs and everything. They'll help you out do your first free SSR run with you. It'll be a really great time. So go on and go there. And then the next thing is going to be, you know, we talked about it, Gale Box of Grimoire. I'll post a guide at the end of the video pretty much going over, like, what are some tactics to do, like, Blood Gotcha. For the most part, you need a full guild. Everyone needs to be participating, and everyone needs to have a lot of tickets. 
and that way you can clear out you know the guild box so grimoire the blood gotcha take out everything and eventually it comes down to trading weapons at the end so everyone can eventually max limit break the weapons if you're wondering the best weapons for blood gotcha it tends to be like the rear guard stuff the staff is pretty good the tome is pretty good and same with the instrument just because there's still a drought with you know all those different types of gear so you know it's really great for rear guard i have to say it's really great next we gotta go over the the grand election event pretty much it's straightforward i don't really want to talk about it because you know conspiracy theories aside like this is pretty set in stone like that that's a pretty hefty win margin congrats though nonetheless i'm not salty i'm just saying like wow that's that's pretty crazy lastly let's go over like the actual grand coliseum overall rankings this is the asia server i just want to go over here really quick congrats to everyone at top 10 as to Algic, 2ls i can't say that poor family lucille free to play boss chaos can't say that and soulmate and then let's go over into over leagues two and three uh, i'll do the top three only for league two blank meow and veritas i am or is that moo i can't read that and then for league three it's uh Nazarick, sleepers and sus you know or is that sos no it's sos all right i've been playing too much among us you know what i mean anyways congrats to all y'all you know fantastic work and then let's go to next one grand coliseum number one naka boomed us <laughs> the seb five b obsidian sin davari peanut malchi lily cut free life force and plane y'all are amazing everyone who hit you know top 100 if you participated in grand Colo whatsoever you did great work i'm proud of you all right i'm proud of you you know shout out to the guildies at woo you know, everyone who participated in Grand Kahlo, thank you, thank you. Naka seems to be the most notorious person in Sinnoh Alice. If you don't know who it is, don't worry about it. But that's pretty much it for tonight's maintenance. You know, I would say like this goes to the monthly event video that I pretty much summarized where they will release a conquest event at the beginning of the month or an armor event at the end of the month. They didn't release an armor event. Which is kind of interesting but maybe there's no armor for this one i'm not sure or they didn't have time to create it because they were working on the halloween event and then they're releasing the blood gacha at the end of the month so we're pretty much on schedule for everything we'll see what you know flows upcoming next month because you know active reality is going to be coming and i'm super excited to see you know how they release the active reality banners and then you know obviously i think aladdin is gonna be coming next month but if they don't release them they pretty much have to release aladdin in december if they don't release him next month but i'm saying it's definitely coming next month and you know lots of great things coming to sin Alice. but that's it for today's video you know lots of amazing things coming this week it's gonna be a busy week make sure to like comment subscribe also Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Biggest thing is don't forget about the prison event. There's only two days left on it. So if you haven't completed it, make sure to complete it very, very soon because, you know, it's coming to a close. It, it is coming to a close. Don't forget about it. I completely forget about it sometimes. I just want to say. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.